Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph y equals negative cotangent of x. And this problem can be done very, very easily if you know the paragraph. And when we're graphing tra uh, trigonometric functions, I think that's the most important thing that I want to have, um, have relayed to you is making sure that you understand how to um, graph the paragraphs of each and every one of our functions. So when we're looking at the cotangent function, um, there's a couple differences you know, we need to make sure we remember. Um, first of all, it, I'm just going to graph y equals cotangent of x. Okay? When graphing this, the main important thing is now, instead of having a period of 2, like for sine and cosine, we now have a period of pi. Um, and also, when we're dealing with the cotangent graph and tangent graph, we now have asymptotes, right? So therefore, what I do in my course is I break down the x scale into twos rather than into fours. Because really, the main important points that I have is the x-intercept and the next asymptote. Intercept, asymptote. Okay. So the way that I look at this is when I'm going the, the cotangent, one thing to remember is tangent always falls to the left, rises to the right, where the cotangent graph is going to rise to the left and falls to the right. Okay? And it looks like you know it has the same kind of S curve, just like the tangent. Um, but so now you can see if we're going to graph y equals negative cotangent, all I'm simply doing is taking this graph and flipping it over. So the x-intercepts are going to remain the same, and the asymptotes are going to remain the same. I guess I should probably go over this. Remember, it takes a period right, for it to repeat itself. So therefore, this is pi halves. Um, pi, 2 pi, this would be 3 pi over 2, and that is 2 pi. OK, so now if I'm just going to take this graph and flip it over, the asymptotes and the, in or, I'm sorry, the intercepts and the asymptotes remain the same. Now my graph kind of looks like a tangent, but just kind of uh, shifted over a little bit. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I guess I can, let me just rewrite these in blue. Maybe I'll make it easier. There's an asymptote there. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph y equals negative cotangent of x.